the boat fast, you ought to paint the mast. You can stay without any reply. But what about the bran flakes? Real Kellogg's bran flakes is what they all reply. They're tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. They're very tasty. As you scrub the floor deck, did you get a weather check? A barricade is biting your bow. But what about the bran flakes? Real Kellogg's bran flakes is what they all reply. These potatoes are for the crisp makers. Ugh, here they won't come up. We're too good to be any old crisp. We wanna be Ned Crisp. We wanna be Ned Crisp. We're not budging until we make you see that if we were Ned Crisp, if we were. I'd better phone Smith's. We wanna be Smith's, Smith's crisps. Be. So good, every potato Smith's wants to be one. This demonstration will show how Tetley's 2,000 perforations let flavour flood out. Imagine Sydney's the flavour and the hoops a perforation. Of course, our craftsmanship means that you won't have to jump through hoops to get a flavourful cup of tea. Simply dive into a box of Tetley, just like Sydney. <laughs> Tetley make tea bags, make tea. Now, the start of the three part thriller Menace Unseen. Announcing. I think this blasted boiler's gone out again. Oh. Spoiled your entrance. Clacky bag. Sorry, it's all they have. And it's not champagne. Champagne is boringly predictable. I have got us a big, heavy burgundy that'll knock you sideways. At which point, I shall have to pick you up and carry you upstairs. Robert, I... I'm too tired to play games. I work too, you know. 
I've only just got back. Yeah, and the boiler's gone out. It's all my fault. Maybe the landlord of the fine fellows would like to subsidize a few home improvements here. Look, Tessa, give me a break. Why not? You've subsidized him for so long. I've made a decision. I was feeling wonderful until I walked in here. For months now, I've been under pressure. You must have noticed. Well, this morning I told them. I just faced up to them and said, finish, over. I never meant to get in so deep. It's all too grubby, the whole... If I knew what you were talking about... I have been, for months now, doing some extracurricular... No, I swore I'd never involve you. But it's all over. I'm free. Extra work? Not for your own firm? Anything to show for it? You know every bit of spare cash went into the company. Look, Duncan took financial risk to get us started. Now as his partner... Duncan. He took a chance on me when no one else would. He used you, Robert. A calculated investment. It's your skills, your expertise that have made that firm. While he swans around, coming in when he feels like it. We made an agreement when we started Mainstay. It still works. And now it'll work even better. Not for me, Robert. It's not working for me. I feel so good tonight. Everything's going to be different. Better from now on. I've just got a few things to put on fire. Just while you're getting dinner. I am exhausted. Who says I have to get the dinner? Why can't you get home early, get home sober and get it yourself?
just doesn't happen. Now, now, Mr. Free, it's a great shock. But unfortunately, as I said to the good lady of the house, there's always a first time. Oh, please, come on. I've worked with computers 11, 12 years, and I've never once seen or even heard of anything oh, like Oh, anything that. electrical, you know, even these days carries a certain risk. <laughs> sure. Sure. Do you mind if I, um, can I have a look at the back? As long as you don't touch anything, sir. Forensics will want to examine it. Well, Mr. Free may be able to help us. How do you suppose it happened, sir? I have no idea. Short circuit when he switched on the computer, or maybe when he logged on, but... You know, a person can be killed by quite a low amperage. Oh, sure, yeah. Yes, and these things, like television sets, have a very high voltage. But again, like television sets, it's usually well contained. It just doesn't make sense, you know. I, for my sins, was at the yard. Got a card here somewhere. I was a few months ago, pending my retirement, seconded to a new committee. <coughs> yes, don't grow another committee. To inquire into relations between police and public all over the country. Which could be rather better. I and my small team collect information on every aspect of police work, which involves them with the public. I'm feeling quite tired. Yes, I'm sure you're feeling tired, my dear. It might be very useful if you could answer one or two questions. We do like to know what the unfortunate victim's state of mind might have been. He was feeling perfectly all right. Very well, in fact. He'd had a few drinks. Okay? And the broken wine glass? That was mine. I thought I'd cleaned that up. It was an accident. Another accident? I was upset. My husband was late home. Any problems with the business, were there? No, on the contrary. Mainstay's flourishing. Expanding even. Robert devoted long hours to it. I gather this wasn't too popular. Now why did he need to work such long hours? Worried the bubble might burst? No, not at all. We get hooked. You know, you can sit at a computer the way some people watch television, hours on end. It's, uh, it's kind of hypnotic. And his drinking, was that a problem? No. Now, sometimes he had a few too many, but only after work was well and truly done. It never interfered. We'll be in touch quite soon, Mrs. Shriving. If there is to be a coroner's hearing, then you and you, Mr. Free, as an associate, will be required to attend. We'll let you know. Thank you. That is my card. That number should get me or get a message to me at almost any time. Now, don't worry. Wilkinson will do the donkey work. And young Gordon and I, between us, we'll keep an eye on you. You're holding back. We bottle up too much, you know. Don't be afraid to shed tears. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. some fresh tea, eh? Oh, God, it's like a furnace in here. It, it's true, you know, what I said about the drinking. I mean, it never interfered. If you'd been here, seeing him arrive home in that state, night after night, wouldn't talk, shut himself away in his study, Stayed half the night in front of that blasted computer as though he didn't spend long enough at the office. You're right, absolutely right. Obsessive. He'd never stop. What? What did you say? No, you're right. Robert always overloaded himself. He, he lived, he thought, he breathed computers. It was your fault. You enticed him into partnership and then pushed him to take on more and more. Never relax, never stop. Until he's drinking and working and drinking and no time for anything else. Is that why you turned to me?
That was nothing. It was nothing. Tessa, you know, you couldn't be more wrong about the work. I was always telling you to ease up. It was Robert who drove himself, not to mention us. He was moonlighting, too. He told me tonight. Something he didn't really like, a bit grubby was the word he used. I felt for months there was something. Right after you rang, I, I checked the computer Robert was working on. And I found things I didn't understand. In fact, I really ought to check his files here. Come in here sooner or later. Better while you're here. What did Robert use this machine for? I don't know. I caught him hiding it away one night. He, he said he'd been fishing, was it? Yes, fishing. Driving. Hello. Listen. G zero zero five, G zero zero seven, G zero sixteen. See, there are gaps here. He seems to have deleted, erased a whole lot of materials. Are we? Wanted to hide something. Yes. You're not surprised? He was in trouble. And all I could do was go on about the wretched boiler. And didn't listen to him. And didn't help him. What was he doing, Duncan? What was going on? I don't know. I don't know. But the answer's in here somewhere. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? All right.
was he doing, Duncan? What was going on? I don't know. I don't know. But the answer's in here somewhere. doesn't taste like what it ought to. No, no, no. The water in Majorca don't taste like what it ought to. The water in Majorca doesn't taste quite how it should. Majorca. 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 Oi, Dale, any danger of some refreshment in here? Here you are. Get your laughing gear around there. Oh, golly. The water in Majorca. What's that? Don't taste like what it ought to. <laughs> Gosh. The water in Majorca don't taste like what it ought to. She's cracked. She's only corrected. You're absolutely wrong. Heineken refreshes the parts what other beers cannot reach. Will it be chips or jacket spuds? Will it be salad or frozen peas? Will it be mushrooms, fried onion rings? You'll have to wait and see. From the Bird's Eye Steakhouse Lean Juicy Steakhouse Grills, pure ground beef that you cook like a steak and serve like a steak. What'll you give your old man with his steakhouse grill? Oh, it's chips, it's chips. We hope it's chips. Beef grills and lamb grills. More sizzlers from the Bird's Eye Steakhouse. Susie's gonna sing about a different kind of chocolatey biscuit. Trio! Too loud. Trio! I said that was too I loud. I want a trio and I want one now. Yeah, well, we all do, man, but listen. Not one, not two, I mean, but three things in it. I said a chocolatey biscuit and a toffee taste, too. Listen, could you just cool and it? Not one, not two. No three things are quite as good together as a trio. Telling them, Tessa. Everybody here was very fond of Robin. Are you, uh, you're going to be all right there on your own? Yes, Aunt Norma's coming over later. Remember Aunt Norma? Well, who could forget her? She's the only family I have now. Yes. Well, I'll, uh, I'll call you, okay? And take care. Yes, Rowley. Did you see? Did you actually see the machine? Yes. Have you ever heard of a malfunction like that? No. Nope. Duncan, are you going to stay? I mean, the firm mainstay. Will you keep it going? Why did you think I wouldn't? What was Robert's program for today? Uh, I've already cancelled this morning. Just one appointment for this afternoon. 
Mr. Coniston. Very I think I know him. Uh, it says SCT. Oh, yes. Superconductor technology. Yes, Robert was keeping that very close to his chest. Shall I put him off? No, no, don't do that. I shall be back in time. You all right? Fine. I'm going to miss him terribly. Yes. You all right? Uh, I have to be. I've got a company to run. Oh, Stacy, could you do me a list of all Robert's clients, the main ones, the ones I'm going to have to take over? <clears throat> yeah. Any special clients? Mm. Odd or unusual? Uh, don't think so. Right. Oh, and uh, call Mark Holstrom for me, would you? Tell him I'm coming straight over. Is there no way of getting past that into actual data? Sure, if we had Robert's password. Yes, Mark, that's exactly what we don't have. Come on, you're supposed to be such a hot shot, I thought you could hack it somehow. <laughs> you thought, huh? Well, maybe you thought right. See, the password is probably buried in the first program on the disk. And I would have thought with a little ingenuity I could bypass that. Oh, how? Trade secret. Okay, I'll fetch you in some lunch. What do you fancy? Uh, a smoked salmon sandwich, a dozen oysters, and a half bottle of that bubbly stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Mainstay? I'm sorry, Mr. Shriving's not available. Who's calling, please? It's Gail Greville. No, I'm not a client, just a friend. I'm afraid I have some rather bad news. Oh? Mr. Shriving was killed last night. An accident. Do you know his birthday? Easy. 8848. No dice. Telephone number? 240-2940. 2940? That's it. If for all we know, we could be looking for the combination lock on his briefcase. And you'd probably be right. Hmm, birthday, August. What sign is that? Leo. Leo. Yeah. Let's mash the potato, all right? I never just liked things, you know. He got really hooked. Work, booze, work. He was compulsive. That was the only way to be, because it's tough out there. Yeah, but life does not begin and end with computers, you know. Well, now he tells me. Baby, computers have already changed our world. And like the man says, you ain't seen nothing yet. Al Jolson, the jazz singer. Their potential has hardly begun to be tapped. Potential for what, I wonder, good or bad? Oh, come on, Duncan. Machines have absolutely no morality. They're neutral. Heard. Ain't heard nothing yet. It was the first talking picture. Neutrality. Computers, Mr. Holstrom, are just like any other man-made device. They reflect the values of those who control them. Duncan, you know, you're a freak. You're the only guy I ever met who questions the morality of machinery. The unexamined life is not worth living. Aristotle. Aristotle, 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 Jolson. You know, I believe you're not wrapped too tight. You ought to get married. I've been married. Well, I've got to go. Look, if by some incredible fluke we manage to crack all this, how long will it take? Oh, instantaneous. Good. And um, what will I owe you? A decent meal one night, huh? I know, a great fish and chip shop. <laughs> Mark. Don't let anybody see those discs, okay? All right. 
Thanks. Mr. Shriving's appointment is here, Mr. Coniston. Right, I'm coming out. We'll, uh, we'll use the boardroom. Uh, Mr. Coniston. Hello, Andrew. Would you, uh, come in here? Oh, don't do that. I'm sorry to startle you. Mrs. Shriving not about? My name's Frame. Superintendent Frame. Oh, yes, the funny, uh, the nice old one. Did you want to tell her something? My niece very sensibly went to her office this morning. And you are? Her Aunt Norma, Mrs. Trisk, twice widowed, twice divorced. I don't much care for policemen, but I always believe in telling them everything right away. It saves so much time in the long run. Your niece must still be feeling very shocked. How would you expect her to feel? Anything suspicious? Not at all. Not that you'd tell me if there were. I've been telling people all day. It doesn't get any easier, I'm afraid. Anyway, Mr. Coniston, about your project. Now, uh, Robert was well ahead of me in the field of superconductivity. I'm not sure that it wouldn't be better. Forgive me. Make a clean break. Oh. Is that necessary? I've been doing my homework. I assure you, you'll get the same high standard. This must have been an ordeal for you personally. Were you there when it happened? No, no. Soon after. Terrible thing. Was he alive when his wife found him? No, no, he was already dead. Then there was no indication of how it could have happened. No, I'm afraid not. Mr. Coniston, I've, uh, I've been through most of Robert's files. Oh, he was very conscientious, I'm sure. Everything's in order. Yeah. Yes, was everything in order with the work that he was doing for you? As far as we know. We valued him very highly. If you should um, find anything concerning my company, files, discs... Yes. Yes, I have come across some material I haven't quite uh, deciphered yet. If it should turn out to be connected with your project, of course, I'll let you know immediately. I had hoped that we could continue to, uh, to serve you, but of course, if you decide otherwise, I, I will quite understand. I think perhaps we'll stick with you for the time being. Superconductor technology is competitive on an international scale. We need to know in detail where the next threat the next competition is likely to come from. Well, many assume Japan, but nowadays one can't be sure. Right. How soon do you need to know? As soon as you can. Without rushing it, of course. I'm really very sorry about your bad news. If there's anything I or my company can do... You just did it. Good. Thank you very much, Mr. Cummings. Goodbye. Goodbye. <clears throat> There's nothing to worry about. He said he'd keep in touch. Old hypocrite. A senior police superintendent drove all the way down here just to say that? Well, he tried to sound me out. 
course, I kept very stony-faced. <laughs> that I'd like to have seen. You tired, love? Mm. Shock. Perfectly natural. Hello? Just a thought. Slightly funny one. Robert's safe in the study. You, uh, you wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? Yes. But I don't especially want to give it to you over the phone. No. Okay. Well, then, any other numbers or names or, or words that might have had some sort of significance to it? If you just explain. Robert's entries on those two discs I took are in code. We can't possibly begin to crack that code unless we have the keyword. Well, why couldn't you have said that in the first place? Sorry. Well, is there anything? No, I don't think so. Oh. Well, it's probably nothing, but... When we were first together, Robert used to call me... What? He had a pet name for me. He used to call me... Tiger. T-Y-G-E-R. Tiger. Well, give the little lady a box of cigars. Bloody marvellous. How long? Unless you hear otherwise, we ought to be dining out tonight. Haven't found a code yet we couldn't crack. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Early. Busy. No. Well, this is urgent. Message to Mark Holstrom. You should take it round yourself. By hand. Any reply? Tell him I ate it. He says he'll meet you in the Angel at 6.30. <laughs> Tell him to bring all his credit cards. Early yet. You never can tell what crowd you get in these days. Used to be the poorest part of London. Then all that turning warehouses in the condominium started up. Well, no offence. I mean, it's better, no doubt, than an empty building. What's that? I don't know. I think I'm getting involved in something. What, you? The original hit and run merchant? Who is she? Ah, uh, it's nothing like that. Who's he?
No idea. He's been watching you for the last ten minutes. Perhaps your luck has changed. Well, I have to disappoint him, I'm afraid. Waiting for a friend. and tested it against fairy. Well, the liquid lasted pretty well. One bottle did all this washing up. Not bad. Till you see what fairy can do. Fairy's longer lasting suds mean it can do all this and more, much more. On average, 50% more. And of course, it's still as mild and gentle as ever. Fairy's not just a little bit better. It's 50% better than the best of the rest. Wake up in the morning, wanting some breakfast. What am I going to spread on my toes? Oh, bite a light. Made with pure sunflower oil. And with the taste that'll make you shine. Oh, bite a light. Shining all through the daytime When day is done, well, you know what I like oh. What's that? Oh. Come on, y'all Light to light Yeah Good night My wallet, they took my cash, they took my credit cards. Worst of all, they got I my... I know, I know, I know. Worst of all, they took your briefcase with, among other things, the listings you've done for me. Don't you look, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, well, I was very careless. What do you mean, sorry? Be mugged for pizza. Statistically, I'm surprised it hasn't happened before. Mark, it's got nothing to do with statistics. Don't you understand? They were after the listings, and the credit cards, the other stuff, just to make it look right, that's all. Logan, why do you have to make this sound like it's some goddamn Raymond Chandler movie? Because that's what it is like, exactly like. <laughs> I mean, the phones in my office are bugged. Some peculiar little man follows me to the pub tonight. Stuff you do for me gets stolen. I don't think they're going to stop there. Oh, please, come on. OK, OK, OK. So what did they get? A long list of names. No telephone numbers, no addresses, and no indication of who or what they are.
You're not working tomorrow, are you? No, the doctor thought I should stay home, take a couple of days off. Delayed reaction or something. Oh, no, please. No visits to my office, all right? My top brass don't like me lending myself out as it is. It's the next logical step, though, isn't it? The break. I'll have to get those original discs back somehow. Do you know what you're saying? My office is one suite in that wall of glass. We have watchmen and electronic security. So relax, will you? going to interrupt. We've been taken care of. Morning, Stacy. Right. You may. Oh. Bump. Bump. That's a count. <clears throat> That's me. He wants more bump. Duncan? Yes. Last night, in the wine bar, this bloke sat down near me, started chatting. Where did I work? What was it like? Who was my boss? Did I like working for him? What did you do? Well, I kept my mouth shut and got away. Of course, he might just have been chatting me up. Didn't offer to buy me a drink, though. What was he like? A bit odd looking, scruffy. No, neat. Oh, yeah, and glasses like jam jar bottoms. <laughs> What's that? Oh, this little by hand. Yes, all right. I'm very impressed. Now, who the hell are you? Lawrence Knight. Call me Larry. If it's good enough for Olivia. This is about Robert, isn't it? Oh, I knew Robert's driving, yeah. I'm in computers, too. Wanted to help him. Too late now, I'm afraid. It's a terrible place, this. No bar. Can't get a cup of coffee. There's somebody waving at us. Oh. The next item is a compilation. 20th century paranoia. I thought you'd find that appropriate.
you're under surveillance. Not just the police, but quite possibly Robert's bosses. What I call the big boy network. You've heard of the old boy network? Well, this one makes that look like the brownies. For your own safety, stop nosing about. Have you got some sort of um, private deal going? Am I muscling in, is that it? Muscling in. <laughs> You've got all the right movie expressions, haven't you? What a nut. Oh, I know, of course. You want the discs, don't you? They were the same people who, who set Robert up. I suppose from where you sit, that looks possible. Yeah, I suppose it does, yeah. How did he die? On computers have plastic keys. You cannot get electrocuted by a plastic key. Very true. Mr. Knight. Larry. Mr. Knight, I run a small computer business. That's what I do. I live alone. That suits me. I like old movies. I suppose you know all this, don't you? Yeah. Well, anyway, up to now, everything's been just fine. Then, all of a sudden, my partner gets killed, possibly murdered. A good friend gets beaten up. And my secretary gets the third degree in a wine bar. Now, what's it all about? Hmm? Who are these big boys? What are they after? They're after information. Information, Mr. Free, is power. That's very good. I don't understand it. Look, information's the big fix nowadays. The heavy guys of this world want more and more of it, and the more private, specialised, and confidential, the better. Why? The more you know about people, the more you can control them. It's very simple. As to who they are, it would be easier to separate a snowstorm into its individual snowflakes. 